and welcome to Exclusive with Tagreed Hussain here uh, on Nile TV International. Well, uh, on tonight's uh, episode, we'll be talking about innovation. And we hear a lot innovation, and it's core relevant uh, always uh, to education at the same time, where we receive quality of education, so innovation uh, should be there. So it's key to uh, the progress of education in the country. Under the directives of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, the new republic fosters the most worthwhile innovations that have the power to rapidly accelerate progress in the different sectors, among them, of course, education, and help give all the students the full set of skills and also the sense of competencies that they need in order to thrive today and also in the future. Throughout the last decade, Egypt has been working hard in order to develop strategies to introduce innovations in education and to use them effectively in order to ensure inclusiveness, to promote lifelong learning opportunities for all Egyptians uh, across the nation. And main, mainly, we are uh, tackling and meeting the main goals of sustainability, sustainable development vision, and Egypt's vision uh, 2030. On tonight's uh, episode, uh, well, uh, on exclusive uh, with Dr. Jihan Zahran, uh, she's an education and innovation consultant. We have all the honor of having uh, Dr. Zahran with us today to read this important headline and to know more uh, through her speciality about innovation and uh, co-relevance, of course, with education. Dr. Zahran, thank you so much for coming. You're most welcome, dear. It's a pleasure to me. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Pleasure is mine. Throughout our episode, we'll be shedding light on Egypt's strategy towards introducing innovation in the country's education sector and also uh, the, the uh, sense of inspiration that this factor is uh, actually investing in our higher education today, which will help us reach the sense of a revolution in Egypt's education uh, sector. How inspiring uh, is uh, the topic? Short break and we'll be back. مصر فيها 100 مليون مصر كمان مساحتها مليون كيلومتر مربع بس في حجم ضخم جدا من الاراضي احنا مش عايشين عليه ما خدناش بالنا على مدى 60 70 سنه فاتوا ان الكلام ده هيبقى ليه تاثير كبير جدا وخطير على حياتنا ومستقبلنا لكن احنا مش سايبين لا القاهرة ولا اسكندرية ولا بورسعيد ولا المحافظات بنتحرك في كل القديم والجديد مع بعض عشان يليق بينا ويليق بالمصريين يعني الموضوع مش مش مباني بس لا ده تطور كبير قوي احنا بنعمله فارجو ان احنا نستعد مفكرين مثقفين فنانين هذا الحدث الكبير ميلاد دولة جديدة بافتتاح العاصمة الجديدة ميلاد دولة جديدة إعلان جمهورية تاني Yeah, very inspiring, uh, the inauguration of the new capital, which is co-relevant, of course, to this sense of uh, an inspiring new republic that we all dreamt of. And uh, as has been reflected in the head of state's uh, statements, that uh, His Excellency invites intellectuals, educators, all segments of the society to share in this sense of innovation, this sense of creativity, which is actually trending today, uh, Professor Zahran, exactly. uh, when we are talking. Uh, yeah. Yeah. education and we find both of them both words uh, education and innovation coming together which is great to see them by the way going in parallel although it is by force or not <laughs> but this is what I'm saying always we have to do something that's really in front of us new public and new generation and new education with technology and innovation all of this combination is something related to education itself so we, we came to the core we come to what we should do, or what we are doing, and we need to develop it, actually. Uh, when we're talking about technology and education, now, nowadays, what we say that technology is raising hands now in education, it tells I'm here. Yeah. Okay. I'm here, and use me well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and and maybe if we are going to talk about positive science that's what I'm aim to all the time especially when I'm talking about education innovation and passion in our new generation mm -hmm. uh, for the kids who is coming to new path of education it's new to them whatever is negative or positive we come to the negative side and we say this is the positive that we can solve it yeah. all right and now I think this is the thing that we aim together to do it here to mm -hmm. tell them what's the positive way and we came to the educators and tell them what we should do and mm. what we should learn more to get new generation yes with the new republic yes <laughs> great that you've mentioned new generations because what we are uh, actually doing today is uh, that we are creating history also for the new generations yeah. we are investing in new calibers and uh, the new generations are the ones who are going to reap uh, the, that fruit uh, thank God that uh, in, in Jan 2022 we would be witnessing again the comeback of the World Youth Forum and uh, that beautiful Congress uh, that has been actually running and bringing positive vibes not only in Egypt but all over the world yeah. with its aura, with a sense of respect to the youth and with a sense of listening uh, to their messages and uh, this sense of contribution what we really need to focus on. So Professor Zahran you are dealing with the youth every day and uh, through your profession also as an instructor and as a teacher and intellectual dealing with the youth in a way that is going to bring about the sense of innovation in them mm. what would we professors do so that we would make good use of those strong points um maybe i'm gonna talk about uh, mm. what is the latest that we can do or what what's the latest in education uh, generally and how we can do in a parallel line to solve what we are facing right now mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk about COVID I'm not going to talk about the, the timing that it's really happening before because mm -hmm. really maybe I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it in a very positive way COVID-19 uh, gives the chance to learn more to know more to have knowledge more in all the fields all right and all the fields it's related to me is an education okay yeah. <laughs> because every field is an education so let's talk about the trending in education and, and trending in technology in education um, it's faces actually to use something that we didn't use before we have basic things that we didn't use it mm -hmm. and we are forced now to use it okay mm -hmm. talking about basically the emails sending and mm -hmm. receiving digitalizing all right we come to the e-learning which is already there but we we came to focus on what we are doing with it when we come to the e-learning we came to the online learning yeah and that's we are faced to do it normally we have to do it of mm -hmm. course there's a lot of challenges but you know when we uh, started doing it we it has become part and parcel of our daily lives yes and we we found out that we were missing also the sense of style i mean it was never ever regretted yeah uh, it, it was it has become part and parcel of our lives today exactly so exactly. Uh, that's the good vibes about it is that uh, in the first place it was introduced then it became part and parcel of our success story it came to our daily life now yeah. and online even the jobs it's not only mm -hmm. education for our kids uh, yes. at, at home it does for our daily life and, mm -hmm. and, and jobs and everything remotely right now but so how we can use this in, in, in the way of innovative things related to our new generation, mm -hmm. related to the generation that they really need to have this. Uh, now we have the digital content yes. and, and, and we have already the good resources, mm -hmm. the international resources. Yes. The resources that is really facing every, every day life in education fields from K to 12 on higher education. So we don't have a problem in content. Mm -hmm. All right, we don't have a problem in resourcing, but we have something that we have to follow in delivering this info or resources. Now the teacher or the instructor doesn't have a problem of what we can prepare. Everything mm -hmm. is prepared for you. Yeah. But now what you can focus in is just to focus on the talents, the skills. How to deliver as, as well. I and, mean. and the skills that mm -hmm. you get it from the students himself yeah. and give him the lead for mm -hmm. what to do creativity yes. the teamwork mm -hmm. and all the activities that's coming from the resources exactly 
coming to a side that lets you do mm -hmm. the good way of discovering the skills of your students. Yeah. Great that you've mentioned the good way for discovering the links um, and the talents in your students because, you know, this is um, what you are giving to the, us today, uh, Dr. Zahran, is like uh, what we can say a, a recipe uh, for, for success that we really need. There are certain components, if there, we can find a lot uh, to be changed in the uh, progress of education and in education development, namely uh, creativity, namely uh, teamwork. How to prepare the students since a very early age, maybe at primary school, to appreciate this sense of teamwork, to learn how to work in a team and yeah. to master that later on, because this is going to reflect also uh, on their path of life. I mean, uh, yeah. they are going to be uh, welcoming other partners for success. Yeah. They are going to work in partnership for success stories even later in universities and also in, uh, at work. Exactly. Um, we have something called the blended learning. Yeah. Okay. The blended learning is it's the alternative of the traditional one, but it's an untraditional way. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the the people in education field right now, when they listen to me and tell me we have a problem that all the time that parents are talking about, we are taking online everything. We don't have the communication. We, we don't have the physical interaction between the teacher and the students themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling them the solve or the solution is the blended learning. What is the blended learning? It's the combination between the online and the physical teaching. Yes. How? When we give them, for example, I just give my student a, a task. When they have like phases, mm -hmm. he get the online one, he listen to something, and we give them prepared, okay? Most of the time that the teacher all the time just wait to do the new thing all the time, he wants to get the new info in the beginning. Yeah. But in the blended learning, we let them be prepared before we start. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we give them a teamwork together. Yeah. Okay, as a task and from let them our feel project. That, they, that if we are going to succeed, so we are we are going to succeed together. Exactly. The sense of togetherness is what we, will make us all succeed. Even if it is online, but the, the group work and the teamwork between the students themselves, by the way, yeah. even if they are in another country, in another places, mm -hmm. they can do that. You can do your own task and can do my own task and we can share it. And yeah. we can having online things and practically in the same time. So we cover the area that's physically needed mm -hmm. with the students. And now they discover themselves practically. So that's the blended. Yeah. And we have the online and the physical one, okay? It's translated from the practical and the project side. Yes. We're always talking about improving the climate uh, of education and the atmosphere in which our students are learning, uh, improving educational institutions as well. We're talking also about uh, quality education. What's trending in that respect, in your opinion? Oh, the trending is, is a lot in education, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about something in, in VR, for example, and yeah. in the virtual learning. Mm -hmm. uh, now, there is no a place of a big company, enterprise or education, without VR. Mm -hmm. You know, without mentioning names of, uh, of the companies, or of the cars and, yeah. uh, you know, producing cars. Now, with the VR, they are putting from the first step Tell the completing a car, all of it, VR, virtual. Yeah. They do everything virtual now. Mm -hmm. And that leads us to the technical education. With the technical education, we always have a problem facing the physical thing and how the students do things by their hands. And okay, the, the online cannot solve that problem. No, it's solved now. It's mm -hmm. solved now with the VR. Now look at the companies all the brand names of the car productions, they are doing everything with VR, okay, piece of cake. Mm -hmm. And, and yes. they do it practically things. So practically, professionally and practically easily. Practically and professionally and leadingly and easily and it came to a very good result as well. Yes. Talking about uh, innovation and uh, what is trending also concerning artificial intelligence, okay. which is going to play a very important role in our lives because it is the future. Definitely. So again, trending, artificial intelligence and uh, co-relevance to education. 
AI mm. or artificial intelligence in all the fields is the basic and the first trending in education. Mm. And uh, w when I talk to marketing and education, and we talk the, the, the top universities nowadays, it's mm -hmm. not engineering or medicine. Yeah. It's the AI. Mm -hmm. It's the AI, information technology and security information, all of this, the IT departments, which is really a very trending in all the things, especially in education. I'll tell you something that very simple. By the way, it's just like seven, eight years ago. Yeah. Uh, there is an application called an AirPod. This AirPod is completely the recent technology nowadays yeah. in education. People are just know it nowadays because they yes. force it to use an online learning. But actually, it's a long time before, and it's a free application. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. We have a lot of things. Nearbot is just an interaction. It is giving you a whiteboard collections. It has a library for all subjects. Yes. It's communicating with the students and, and the instructor and the parents as well in a very smooth and easy way. It doesn't need a certain device. Okay, it's all devices. There is no problem with the link itself. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's just a code and you can communicate with nothing. There is a lot of trending in technology and education, but we need to know more about it. Mm -hmm. We need to have a little bit practicing and implementing and follow up in the right way. Yes. Uh, talking education and practicality, we're always talking about an education that would help us serve our community. Okay. And at the same time, train our students to put this in mind. You know, how can we serve, how can you serve your country? How can you bring about ideas that are going to be uh, in practical terms useful to the uh, whole community. We have more than one uh, example in that sphere like uh, Takeful and Karama and the Decent Life Initiative, yeah. that important presidential initiative uh, th that is really noble because uh, it, it wants to transform lives and the quality of lives uh, of uh, ordinary Egyptians to the better and uh, our uh, dear brothers and sisters in Upper Egypt. So. Youth are working hand in hand with the state in that respect. What would be the outcome and the lessons taught from such great experiences in your opinion? I'm going to tell you how can we implement this in the right way and how can we do all the nice projects which is excellency that's doing it nowadays with the belonging, mm -hmm. with to train kids the loyalty of their country. Yeah. Okay. You know, there is well-known, actually, experiments in Singapore. Uh, the first five years yeah. in education, yeah. you know exactly what they're doing. It just mm -hmm. teach the kids how to be belonging to yeah. the country. Here are the services presented by different initiatives, Takeful uh, and Karama. And uh, as you can see, and as our audiences would share, uh, it's transforming lives in the rural areas and also working in uh, transforming lives in, uh, in Beni Suif here, for instance, in Upper Egypt. So uh, the videos show how when the situation citizens. has been dramatic before and yeah. uh, how it is today uh, actually reshaping lives. When citizens say. understand and yeah. feel the facilities and, and, and all the, the services that they came mm -hmm. to the country, to them, <clears throat> yes. actually they feel loyalty. Mm -hmm. and they feel, okay, I want to give more. Yeah. I have the passion to continue. Yes. I can, uh, you know, like bear whatever things that happen to me. I can do whatever I can. Mm -hmm. I can be better and better and better. And that's for, for the most thing that really makes people happy when they do something to the country. Yes. And, and they learn what well in education and they can accept mm -hmm. what have been told to them to yes. improve the life. Definitely, we need that and uh, also this sense of loyalty and this sense of belonging starts at school, uh, since primary yes. school where we uh, uh, yes. instill this love of, for the country and doing for the country and working hard to make our country uh, better. Uh, today we're a country that mainly, uh, of course, we believe in science and the important role that is played by science and uh, technology. Yeah. And uh, we've seen uh, His Excellency the President in different occasions and on science they bestowing orders and uh, orders of excellence and credit, giving credit to uh, scientists. So uh, if we talk about uh, reflecting on that vision and the role of science and innovation today in education. So we're talking about something that really related for what you're doing now, what we're talking about, innovation and uh, 
we have a lot of things nowadays that the country is doing for the entrepreneur, mm -hmm. right? For something that very important the entrepreneurship for youth and all also the the small and medium sized enterprises. They have a very good, well trained in education, by the way. They did a lot of things. Actually, when I was uh, training. Uh, are pro the foreigners, the French people, and, and they came to me and told me, we like that application that you're teaching us. Later on, I understand that this is an Egyptian innovation, by the way. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, <laughs> this is a very helpful application for doing and helping the educators, and I don't know, actually, this is Egyptian product. Mm -hmm. and, and young people who is really creating it. We have a lot of creatives, mm -hmm. and we have uh, a lot of thinkers, but they need a chance, and they need a guideline, mm -hmm. and they need also that we have to transform the way that we are teaching them, okay? They uh, definitely, you know, students, they know better than us mm -hmm. as an educators. They are the one who just getting the ideas from them. Me, myself, long time ago, I get the idea from a question from my student. Mm -hmm. I can't... Yeah, they are always inspiring. I can change, yeah. okay, the way or the path that I'm teaching them because of one question. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm always telling to the teachers and educators. Don't fix to the place or the, the criteria and the plan you're doing it. Mm -hmm. This is not a holy thing. Mm -hmm. We can change it. Yeah. We can change it according to the needs in front of us. Yes. And you have to be flexible in that. Yes. Uh, changing according to the needs and uh, at the same time uh, working according, satisfying uh, our needs in, in those students. Yep. And uh, uh, we are investing in people today in Egypt, and this is very important, uh, building the human character uh, that uh, the state is focusing on in order to bring about a productive personnel who are capable of uh, actually uh, serving the country in a quality way. So focusing on education as a top priority of uh, developing the Egyptian youth and their personality and investing in building the human character. How do you see it? Human character, it's something that coming from the love when you are doing it. Okay? Mm -hmm. and, and that's coming from the, the spirit of a teacher. He loves already what he's teaching to yes. his students. Mm -hmm. And believe me, this is something reachable, very, you know, like obviously to the yeah. students himself when he reached something that coming from a teacher with a lovely way, with mm -hmm. a human way, uh, with um, a motherhood way or a fatherhood way, all right? This is the thing that we really need to a little bit come back with it. Yeah. Uh, we need to, to deal with education with uh, an unbusiness wise okay and we need to, to deliver it in the really human way and we have this a lot i have faced this a lot we have it we are more than millions of teachers yes all right mm -hmm. majority of them they love what they're doing yes and this is you know uh, the, the point is that when you love what you're doing uh, uh, definitely uh, you are going to serve better and work on it better before wrapping up in uh, in like three minutes uh, dr zahran uh, talking about the future and since we are going to talk about the future we're talking the future of education vis-a-vis -vis the human character that we are talking about. We're talking about uh, building on having future leaders. And this yeah. is very important, uh, preparing leaders for the future, uh, investing in those youth today and uh, trying to uh, like invest in their leadership skills. How, do, how can we do that? I think the R&D, the mm -hmm. research and development, yeah. okay, the R&D department that let us know exactly the skills improve the things that's really having focusing in our education. Now the info is not just an info just to put it in a paper or an online exam. No, it's the skill that we needed. We have to focus on the skills that come out from our students to know exactly who are going to be our leaders. Yeah. Okay. From the skills in different fields, we have to create and develop and focus and pick. Mm -hmm. the things that are really needing to that and we give them the guideline so r and d all right uh department that's really having a very good effort nowadays in egypt and i see this universities and and also in schools doing a very great efforts and a lot of things have been done with r and d yeah. right? especially and we came to the technological in education and 
very two advice things, which is a blended learning, yeah. all right, and the VR. We have to focus and know the updates with them and know exactly what we can do to deliver the right thing for our students. Yes, definitely. And if you have a passion, uh, like what we say, if we have a will, you have a way. If you have yes. a passion, definitely, for what you're yeah. doing, you're going to have uh, to make all the difference. I thank you so much, uh, Dr. Jihan Zahran. Thank you, who too. Is, uh, and really, I'm the one who thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> our education and innovation consultant, who joined us today on Exclusive and talked to us about this important a very important headline preparing youth for the future and how what is trending in the uh, field of education and also from her vision as a consultant in that uh, respect how is an innovation actually playing a very important role in our uh, lives today and also in the future of our kids and education thank you dr zahran welcome dear and I thank you, dear viewers, for joining us. That was exclusive with Tagrid Hussain tonight. Next week, another guest and a different topic. Until then.